guys, welcome back. It's been a while. Do I even know how to talk to a camera anymore? Oh wow, the sun's come out. Just in time for the vlog. It's just for you guys. I haven't been here. I know. I will update you eventually in more detail about what's, what happened, what's going on. Uh, basically, just to sum it up really quick, is that I got a full-time job. I got a little part-time job and then a full-time job and eventually it got really hard for me to keep up with everything. Like it does, you know, life happens. But it's okay, I'll be back. Actually, today is the first day where I'm starting to upload vlogs again. I have the next two vlogs up and ready to go. And I'm recording a couple more. Hopefully this one will go after that. And hopefully I'll keep the ball rolling. So the footage is very old and I'm sorry, like it's from February. Not very old, but it's from the beginning of the year. I have vlogs recorded up until May, I believe. And I'm planning to upload all of that because I don't want that footage to go to waste. I'm hoping it's not completely irrelevant because <laughs> I think that it's still entertaining to watch, right? Moving on. What are we doing today? We're unboxing this big mystery box. <gasps> What's this? You'll see it in just a second. Let's unbox this together. Okay, so while we do the unboxing of the tablet, I'm going to give you a few details about the tablet. Although not all of it, because I'm going to give you more details later. So currently as I'm recording this, the audio, not the video, is December 2022. The price point of this tablet is 2,090 euros or 2,050 dollars. I think they have coupons going on, probably because there's Christmas sales and all of that going on. But yeah, that's the price point, which is... Quite a nice price point for tablets of this size and it's a display pen. So I think it's more or less in the price point that I've seen these tablets be in. I'm gonna leave links down below as usual to the tablet, to the official webpage. And I'm also gonna leave the link to a blog post that accompanies this video. I always do this. I write just basically the same information, but in the blog, because I know some people prefer to read it or maybe just to bookmark it for later. Maybe you prefer to skim through it instead of watching the whole video. Oh, wow, it's shiny, so shiny. I almost don't want to touch it. Okay, so this is a tablet. I want to thank Gammon so much for sending me this tablet. This is not a sponsor in a sense that they're not paying me anything for doing this, but they did send me this tablet to review. So here's the button that I guess is on and off. Here's a little switch for something, an audio output. Okay, here on this side, we have all the blocks for the computer and then on the back we have like just the branding this little rubber things oh okay so I read something about it coming with a case and it does there it goes so it comes with this magnetic case okay and the rest of the things so cables as usual more cables around here. I'm not gonna take a look at those because they're usually all the same. Now here's the pen that we're gonna take a look at. Okay, so it's very lightweight. Um, it has this rubber thing for you to not to slip. The shape seems comfortable, like just the first use. Excuse the scratches in my hand. We have new friends in the house. Two little kitties, and sometimes they play a little too harsh, but it's okay. You'll meet them eventually. I'll add a clip. I feel like it might be way too lightweight. I don't know. I'll, I'll dust it out later as when drawing, but I feel like it's very, very lightweight, which could be good or bad, depending on maybe your preference and maybe, you know, how it feels when painting. Okay, here comes a glove. I like it that they come with gloves. But I'm accumulating quite a few. <laughs> so here's the normal glove. Drawing glove. Let's test it out sometimes. They are a bit too a bit too big on me. Yeah, slightly big, but it's okay. Cleaning cloth. That it's really soft. I end up using these ones more for my glasses than I do for the tablets. Is that a bad thing? 
Okay, and this is just the instruction books and, you know, we have this. Oh, okay, that's great. This is really good, I like that. Um, so this is the pen holder. It serves to pull the nib out, I'm not gonna pull it. But yeah, usually all the tablets have something like this in some sort of shape or form to pull it out. But yeah, it's nice that it comes in the shape of a pencil holder. And then there's this little box, which I'm guessing is more cables. So here's the plugs, we have the different adapters, because in my case it's this one for me. They're always like slightly different, I'm guessing, yeah, there we go, there, well, like really simple to pull it on. And this is all in the box, okay, so, let's see. is it? Okay, I think it's just for support, if I'm not wrong. So it should go like this. What? Wait, sorry. Okay, so this is a quick pick of, of all that comes in the box. It comes with most of the things that I've seen tablets come with, which usually lately is a pen holder, the pen. They usually come with a glove, a cleaning cloth. And then the cables, you know. The special thing of this one is this stand that I still can't figure out how to put. Because, I, I don't know, I thought that it could be a protective thing. And, the, and then this one will be magnetic. I also don't think that this will hold the weight of the tablet, to be completely honest with you. To be honest, I've realized that I barely use the buttons on the tablets. So I'm not completely mad that they decided to take off the buttons to just leave a full screen. Uh, with a little bit more of space, right? I don't know exactly if it's it does have more space than my XP Pen 13.3 inches, which is exactly the same size of this one. Once I turn it on, test it out, I'll tell you how it feels. I'm really excited to try this one on. Hi guys, welcome back. It's been a few days since I did the unboxing. I didn't have time to test the tablet, but we're doing it now. So while I show you a few clips of how does it look, I'm gonna tell you a little bit about my first impressions. I want to be completely honest with you. This is a gift, but I'm not subjected to tell anything in concrete and I want to be honest. So first quick impressions when I set it up. I really like the screen. It has a certain opaqueness to it. And the feeling that it has is really good. I haven't tested with a pen yet because I'm installing the drivers and all of that, but it looks like it's going to be a comfortable screen. I'm having good feelings with the screen. The colors and all that are going to look really nice and crisp and also the images. A couple of the things that I wanted to mention, they're not exactly cons, like it just depends on your workspace. But I noticed that the cables are a little bit on the shorter side. I, I showed you like a little bit of how does it look put in to my equipment. And it does reach a little bit side to where I have it right now, which would be um, where I will draw. That's a quick observation. Another observation that I've had so far is that the stand is really low. Like really, really low, <laughs> at least for my taste. I've already prompted up in a little box and it does hold up like at first i was doubting if they will be able to hold up the weight of the tablet and it looks like it can but the problem is that it's very low like it's kind of this this stand that you see on ipads and tablets and all of that which is great for a small tablet but not so great for this kind of big, big tablet. So although I really like it in the sense that it protects the screen, that you can close it and protect the screen, that that's something missing sometimes with other tablets, especially if you want to travel with it or if you just want to leave it there, but you don't want it to catch any dust. But as a stand, it's not uh, the best option for it. Another quick thing that I want to show you that I didn't notice before is that there's nibs inside of this. This serves as a pencil holder, but also is has this little thing in the back out here that this usually comes with every tablet in one way or the other is just for you to be able to take the nib out like so it's just basically for you to be able to do that with ease but then if you open it 
the rest of the nibs are here, like extra nibs. And if you're ever in doubt when you should change your nib, what I've noticed with you is when you notice that the nib scratches the surface that is not pleasantly gliding through the surface, you should change it. Um, let's set up the tablet. The driver is installed now, so let's see how this works. Hi again, so we're on the other side. I'm quickly restarting my computer because I just installed the driver, so to make sure everything is okay, I'm just restarting the computer. Um, I want to show you how it looks the setup right now. As I said, I prompted this up. I think this height is really comfortable to draw on, but is not the size of the stand. The size of the stand is, as you can see, just that. So I'm prompting it up in that box that I had laying around. And this is how it looks prompted up, which is a comfortable one. Let's see if it works. Okay, so a little update. And by the way, here's Wanda. Say hi, Wanda. Say hi. Oh, look at this. I'm so soft. <laughs> so yeah, we're having some trouble with the drivers. I've never had trouble with drivers before. I've uninstalled them and installed them again several times. I've unplugged the tablet and plugged it again. I've reset my computer. I've even uninstalled my Wacom drivers because before I've heard that sometimes drivers from different tablets will cause like interference between one another, but um, I never had the problem. I did it just to be safe and still nothing. I'm gonna research a little, I'm checking on the troubleshooting pages on Gaumon's website and I'll update you when I can finally use the tablet. Just as she deserves all the spotlight. Look at her. <laughs> Look at her, so cute and cuddly. Hi guys, welcome back. You might see a tail over here. She couldn't stay out of camera. So we're back. It's been a week and I haven't updated you in the meantime because I was contacting support and also I had to work now we're gonna test and see if it's fixed. So what happened? <laughs> what was the big problem? Honestly, dumb me. I ended up contacting the guy who got in touch with me in the first time to offer me the tablet and all. And he told me, don't worry, send me a video about how do you plug it and how it's working to see if we can locate the problem. And what happened was that I'm a very big dummy. I always unplug things and test out different things. For some reason, this time I didn't. And the big problem was, my cat might get a bit crazy with the cables, but yeah. The problem was that there's two USB plugs, one that goes up here to the electrical plug and the other one, she's getting crazy. This is a party for her. So, and the other one that goes up to the computer. So what happened here? I plugged the wrong one to the computer. I thought this because I saw this one separated, as you can see here, but it's not. This one is the one that you plug here. And the other one you plug to the computer. Now, I haven't been able to test this yet because I have been working, but we're gonna test this now and hopefully we can finally test the tablet. I'll show you in a minute. I wish you could smell it. Fresh coffee. Look at that. Yummy. Look at this, we have a cat number two. Here is Klaus. So as my first impressions, the colors are really, really nice. So far, the feeling of the pen when using it has been really nice. Uh, let's check it out now when drawing. And I'm going to continue this sheet over here that you can see. I don't know if you play this game. I don't, but my boyfriend does. But yeah, I'm doing a kind of like a few different characters from The Binding of Isaac. And I'm doing them for a sticker sheet that I'm planning to do to sell conventions and such. Um, my boyfriend plays this game so, so much that I basically have the characters ingrained in my brain, even though I haven't played it. 
So I'm going to draw with it a bit, experiment a little, and I'll tell you how I feel about the drawing and everything in a while. Okay, so I'll tell you more about my hip cups while dealing with the tablet later, but right now I'm going to give you technical details because I know some people really care about this, so I'll always like to include them. First, let's start with the screen. So the screen is a 13.3 inches. It's a pretty nice size because it's a medium size that you can kind of carry around if you travel a lot or if you travel for work or whatever, it's not a size that's too bulky. It's actually a size that's more or less like a normal laptop. This screen is fully laminated, it's an HD screen, and is also designed to reduce reflections when working on it. And it comes also with an anti-glare protective film that prevents scratches, dust, or just wear. The feel of this film is kind of a little bit more textured and designed to improve the drawing experience because it does feel smooth when drawing so I actually really like it. I can actually confirm this point. It has a wide viewing angle, almost 180, which means that you can see the screen well from different angles. Sometimes some TVs, for example, if you move a little bit to the side, you start to see the image like a lot less saturated, kind of grayed out. This has a very wide viewing angle, which means that doesn't happen. It also has 86% NTSC. And yes, I had to Google that because I didn't know exactly what it was. But basically, it's related to what I just said about the viewing angle. It basically affects the colors and means that the colors should be seen brightly and clearly from a wide range of angles around the tablet. Also, there was a decision on this drawing tablet to leave out shortcuts. I'm not mad about this. I'm actually, in fact, kind of happy about it. I like the design space without the shortcuts visually. I truly found out that I have barely used the drawing shortcuts at all. Really, I don't feel the lacking of it. If you are a shortcut kind of person, I understand. But uh, for me, this actually was a plus stylistically. I also prefer this. Now let's move on to the pen. So the pen has 8192 levels of pressure sensitivity. What this means is that it is a pretty wide range of pressure sensitivity. This number I think I've seen before in different tablets. I think it's probably a good average to have a nice pressure sensitivity. It's battery free, the pen of course. The pen is very lightweight and comes with a rubber around the drawing zone to prevent slipping and two buttons on the side. It did feel a little lightweight to me at first and slightly plasticky but with use I honestly felt really comfortable with that drawing pen you can't always say that like it depends a lot in the design of the pen for me it felt really comfortable it felt really nice on my hands the feel of drawing with it so overall notes about the tablet the tablet is really lightweight it weights 0 0.88 kilos or 1.7 pounds, which is basically nothing. I actually compared it to my new iPad Pro, by the way, video coming up on that. And the iPad Pro is way heavier than this tablet. This just adds to my point that Yes, it's really easy to carry around and it's also lightweight. Um, it's also very thin, it's only 14 millimeters or 0 0.55 inches. Overall specifications is compatible with Windows 7, 8, 10 or above, Mac OS 10.12 or above, and it also supports Android 6.0 and above, as it can be plugged to mobile. Also, it's compatible with the major software out there, Photoshop, uh, Krita, all of that, uh, from what I've seen. It comes with a Type-C cable for a faster connection and it has like three different connection methods. To be honest, I've only tried one. I think you can plug it just to your computer. So for example, if you're on the go, you can use the two USB plugs to your computer to have it like without uh, plugging it to the wall in case you're moving. Okay, and now that the nitty gritty details of the technical stuff are all out of the way, I'm just gonna quickly tell you what happened. And after that, we'll move on to my opinions, my pros and cons and all of that. What happened was that the pen had a really, really big offset. That was my first problem. After the driver problem that I thought was a driver problem, it was actually me that connected the cables wrong. So let's disregard that one because it was my fault. But then, yes, it was a pretty big offset problem. But the funny thing was that it only happened inside of Photoshop 
inside of the drawing part of Photoshop. Like on the side with layers and all, it worked fine, but then on the canvas it moved really oddly. What I did was I tried to download and install Krita to see if there was any difference. What happened with Krita was that it didn't detect the pen at all. So I contacted support again. Honestly, they were so patient and nice with me. So if you ever had troubles with the tablet, please do not worry. I'm sure that support can help you. Or if there's really a cable problem or something of the sorts, I'm sure they will provide you with a new one. So please don't fret by me having these complications because they're normal. There are things that happen sometimes. Sometimes just maybe your software or something is causing some sort of incompatibility and it's really nothing that can't be fixed. So the first solution first to the pen, I think it was just an installing the driver and then try out the pen without the driver. Uh, I tried a couple of things and if the pen worked without the driver, then I could install it again. Basically, it was putting the screen on mirror mode instead of duplicate, which is what I usually have to have two different screens where I can, you know, watch something in one, draw in another, things like that. Because I usually always like to have something to watch in the background, right? That was actually fixed once I finished. But then what happened was that in Krita, the pen just worked as if they had no pressure sensitivity, as if it was the mouse. On Photoshop, it just didn't work at all. It didn't detect it. So I was like, what's happening here? I contacted support again. <laughs> then I just tried to uninstall everything that I had in my computer. I uninstalled the drivers from other tablets. And this time, I think that made the difference. I uninstalled the Wacom driver. That's the only one that I had. Uh, because that's the only one I use normally for drawing. So and I uninstalled that, I clear out the drivers from the Gaumon tablet again, and then install them again. I followed the instructions they gave me and it worked just fine. And we were finally able to use it normally. Despite all of this, there was a little bit exhausting, a lot of back and forth. And as I have a full-time job, I could only try this on the weekends. So it took a little time to get there, but we're here. We tried the tablet and I only have good things to say, to be honest. I really like the feeling of the tablet. As an artist, I think that what I can say the most to tell you or recommend you a tablet is if I feel comfortable drawing in it, if I like the feeling of drawing in it. Because I think that's the most important thing. Like you need to feel comfortable with the pen, with the screen and with the feeling of the pencil on the screen, you know? If you haven't tried digital art before, you might not know, but I kind of recommend you test out a few different tablets if you can, if you can see them in person, because sometimes you can notice differences and you can find out your preferences. A lot of times, for example, if the screen feels a little too glassy, as it usually happens from what I've seen with iPads, a lot of people buy protectors to change that feeling of the screen and I actually experimented it and I was completely in agreement with that. That feeling of glassiness, of glass, drawing on glass, is really not comfortable. It doesn't feel natural, especially if you come from drawing on paper. But what I can say about this tablet is that I was really, really comfortable when working on it. I really like the look and feel of the screen. Like <laughs> I've said it a few times, but it's true because not all the screens feel the same, right? I noticed the colors were a little bit more saturated than my screen and than my Wacom screen. But this is not necessarily a bad thing. I feel that the colors on my screen might be a little bit more accurate to reality. I tried to check for a way to change the saturation of the screen and I didn't find it but there might be a way and I maybe just didn't look well enough. I thought it might be inside the driver of the tablet with the configuration and all but I didn't find it. Uh, something else that I thought is not exactly a con it was that the pen was very plasticky. The buttons too. The buttons make a lot of noise and feel plasticky. However then when using it I like the feeling of the pen and it started not to bother me. So maybe it was a, more of an aesthetical thing, a first touch thing, than actually using it. Because as I said, I really like the pen, the weight, the form. It being so lightweight, it didn't bother me at all. I, I'm just giving my two cents. It's nothing bad. It's just a comment, right? Other than that, I honestly didn't find any cons except what I said before, that the cables were really, really short. I have my computer base really near the 
where I put the tablet and it almost didn't reach. I think it will do good with extending the cables a little bit more, except for these problems with the drivers and all. What I know is that it's something that's fixable, it's just with a little bit of patience. I saw that they have a support in their page, in fact they contacted me back pretty fast. I ended up talking with the team that gave me the tablet, but just so you know, support seems to be nice and be nice to support please because I'm support now and I, I see some odd things over there. So yeah, support seem to be nice and fast enough. So if you have any trouble, you can just reach out to them. And really, I don't know what else to say. I had a really nice time. I'm also gonna say something that I didn't felt before with the previous tablets, at least not as much, is that the transition from my usual drawing tablet, which is the Wacom Cintiq 6, from this one felt really super smooth. Sometimes when trying other tablets, I don't feel that getting used to one or the other is that fast, but in this one I was used to it really really fast, which is good because when you're changing tablets, sometimes you can notice that. The fact I think also that it doesn't have shortcuts that I have to worry about helped in a way because sometimes when you have shortcuts there you feel the need to use them although you end up not using them. This time I just could focus on the tablet on drawing and on doing what I had to do. I think that I've said it all. I don't know if my opinions seem professional enough. That's my two cents on the Gaumann tablet. I'm just sorry that I had that little experience there. It, it took me so long to get it to work properly, especially because I didn't have a lot of time to test it out. In the end, I really like it. By the way, you will see this drawing happening right now. The drawing difference between what I did before in my other tablet and this one is nothing because nothing changed. And I'm saying this because sometimes when you change to a different tablet, maybe the pressure sensitivity is a little different. So it, it's harder to get the lines right and all. I didn't notice this here. And it was just fast and smooth to create this next few stickers that I had pending to the set. That's all on my thoughts. I'm gonna shut up now because I've been talking for a little bit and I hope this was useful. If you have any questions, please let me know. I'll be happy to answer them. I'm not an expert, but I'll do my best. If you want to buy this tablet, you'll have links down below. If you want to find all of this in writing, you'll have the blog post down below. Stay tuned because next up we'll have a review of my new iPad Pro and I'll tell you a bit more about that in the next video. If you liked what I did here, if you like this video, you can subscribe and hit the notification button. If you want to follow me on social media, you might have seen my handle around the video, but you will also have them down below. And that's all for today. Thank you so much for watching. Please give it a like if you enjoyed it, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye!